Leading Ladies, a Zambian podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption is that in our past, women have had no role in peacemaking. In reality, evidence from history shows women have been peacemakers. Meet Najduti, Luapula province, 18th century, the peacemaker. The Shila, under the leadership of Nkuba I, reached the Bangweulu swamps and became the Shila Katia, the real fisher folk. By the mid-18th century, Nkuba Nsenshi was the fourth Nkuba to succeed the Shila throne, and he lived at Chisenga with his sister Nachituti. At this time, the Lunda under Mwatakanyembo Mpemba I, Kazembe II, invaded Shila country with the view to conquest. The Shila organized themselves into a resistance against the Lunda, led by Chief Katele and his sister, Nakabutula. When Mwata Ilunga Lukwesa Kazembe III succeeded to the Lunda throne in 1760, he captured and killed Katele. Even though Katele was killed, Shila resistance continued under the leadership of his sister, Nakavutula. It was during this turmoil, Nachituti discovered her brother Nkuba IV had murdered her son. Nachituti wanted to avenge her son's death, but she also wanted peace for her people. To bring about peace, Nachituti met with Mwata Ilunga Lukwesa Kazembe III and in a dramatic political challenge, as was custom, Nachituti took off her loincloth and dared Mwata Ilunga Lukwesa to assassinate Nkuba IV. Nachituti vowed that he would be repaid for the action. Soon after, Mwata Ilunga Lukwesa captured and killed Nkuba IV. Nachituti kept her word. Before a great assembly of the Lunda and Shila people, she placed a basket of soil and a pot of water at Mwata Kazembe Lukwesa's feet. This symbolized the non-negotiable Shila ritual authority over the land, water, and other natural resources, but offered the Lunda invaders political authority while maintaining Shila sovereignty. From that day, the war between the Lunda and the Shila was over and they each maintained power. Nachituti was given a praise name and thereafter called Nachituti Uawishe Ulunda, meaning Nachituti, the one who made it possible for the Lunda to settle peacefully in Shila country. Till today, Nachituti's treaty is enacted at the Mutomboko ceremony by the current Mwatakazembe and the current Nachituti. Women have been peacemakers. <laughs>